Welcome to my custom interloper run. I'm Nefo29, and here's what's in our backpack. We're subtly overweight. Um, I threw all the sticks on the fire. I'm going to leave these here. Uh, <laughs> you know what? I might leave the ex... Ah, uh, maybe. I don't know. I don't think I'm going to leave the extra clothing here. I don't know. We have a whole bunch of meat, and I was cautious as to not eat that one. Um, Bo is at 78. There we go. And there we are. We are day 83, and here's our skills. Fire starting's moving on up. Uh, mending is into the fours, and we are mid-morning. So we didn't loot here yesterday. So let's just uh, have a look. I'm hoping to find a skillet. Some oil and some, uh, what do you call it stuff? Flour. That's what I'm hoping for. I don't even know if that can spawn here. Uh, gotta take the books. Uh, those might just actually go on the fire. I want to save my coal. That's nine minutes. Oh, that's not the one. That's the other house that has that. And we have a Polaroid. That's that one up top. There it is. Just want to quickly... I like that. Well, I don't see a skillet. I don't even see flour or oil. Hope nobody needs this anymore. I'll be leaving that can opener here. 184. throw you on there. Oh, we have one ingredient. <laughs> it's, not, it's the one I don't even want. This pack is getting too heavy to Alright, we have a survival bow. And we have some more arrows. So now we're up to 28. That is good. Uh, let's... I don't think if the bow was there, I don't even know if anything can show up out here. Whatever. You gotta have a look, right? Okay. Uh, I don't think I missed anything. Uh, the guts. These, I think I'm gonna leave all these here if I can get a hitbox on this one. Where's your hitbox? Oh, that was... Well, there. That's why I'm making them pretty, because... Apparently, there can be more than you thought there was. Alright, well... Let's just speed that up. I was saving room in my belly for... Making that venison pie, but... Uh, we'll go have a peek about the heavy hammer. We got the glimmer fog. Oh, we have a hacksaw. Perfect. Now that we're not carrying a hacksaw. And we got matches. So let's go check the barrel. Uh, we don't even need, I don't think we need a heavy hammer out here. But we got one. And this one's always a pain. Do 
do that. Um, as long as that glimmer fog is on, uh, you know what? Maybe we'll smash these. What is that? 45 minutes. How long is this fire? Um, you know what? I don't even care about the fire. We don't have anything we need to cook. We have enough water for a while. I'm going to stop it before it goes all the way. What's our cloth? 10. All right. 92, I guess we'll repair you. That uh, repair kit is probably going to ruin the sewing kit. Oh, it didn't. Well, 5%. It should ruin this time. There we go. Yeah, we need to go out and get that moose. Um, oh, that's why it's on A to Z. There we go. You can go in there. Uh, I forgot all about that moose. I believe now we're wearing everything. I'm going to pick all of this up and we're going to take it with us. I'm just trying to think what, like, I would love a big container in here. Um, uh, actually. Let's store it under here. So that. Ah, uh, maybe we'll take those. Oh, those pills. I wanted to put those pills. Leave them here. Uh, two. So, did I accidentally? Whoops. How did I do that? Alright, what else can go in here? Uh, nothing really. I guess we can leave a pot out here. What's our weight? 57. We don't want that. You know what we don't want? Get rid of the potatoes. And wow. For a guy who's not carrying hacksaws, we got two of them. There we go. Uh, I guess we'll throw you on the table so that if we ever come back, we can see them. Uh, you're just going to end up as scrap metal. I'm going to leave you here because at this point you're not really any use to us. You get the moose in Birch Forest in Pleasant Valley. Wanted the moose to run and be killed somewhere better. Oh, you one-shot him. See, that's it. It always seems to work that way. I'm not going down there. Uh, not during the glimmer fog. We can't see anything, so. Yeah, whenever you want or, or, or you're hoping to hit them and get them to run possibly to a better location, you one-shot them. But then if you think, all right, I'll take a shot on this guy. He's in a perfect spot. He'll go down. Nope, <laughs> he won't. Uh, you know what would be cool is if we had a book to read. Oh, uh, man, I keep forgetting. Where are you there? Uh, where are you gonna go? I don't like that. I'm gonna put it right here. You guys can go there. Um, may as well smash this. Wow, it's already nighttime. We had glimmer fog all day. All 
day. I think it's finally cleared up. Thanks for wasting that day. Uh, you can go right there. Oh, it is so clear out. Uh, you know what we're gonna do? We're gonna eat you. We're gonna eat you. We're gonna drop all of this meat. Drop that one there. And I'm gonna drop you. I don't to be honest, I don't even know that I care about the salt. Alright, we got a moose to go deal with. thing is, it might be too late in the day. What do we have here? Are you ruined? Yeah, I'd, I'll never understand why they have that and have it ruined. Kinda doesn't make sense to me. Alright, we got, uh... We should have some saplings over here. I would drink almost anything about now. Oh, you thirsty? There we go. I'll grab these saplings. Um, huh. I'm trying to decide, do I want to go start on the moose or do I just want to go there and up there and then get the moose in the morning? I'm unsure. Because it's basically nighttime. I wouldn't mind attracting some wolves too. So as we can get rid of them. Another piece of wood. see anything. I'm gonna go up the hill first. What is it like three days before an animal that you've killed will despawn? Is it something like that? Summon Darth. This one weird cattail. Poking his head out. Yeah, I think it's three days. Tonight would technically be the first day, right? The first 24 hours. Oh, that other little piece was another cattail poking through. Well, we might have to go grab it. What do we have for sticks? I know I uh, like I have all these books. I'm most likely just burning those books. I'm not going to be using them purely to start the fire. I think I'm going to throw those on the fire. Huh. 
<laughs> there you go. Poor Darth, he hasn't even been here to see that. Where's the wolf? Oh, let's put you away. Alright, I believe we found an expedition park in here one time. We got two of you. We have six of you. Okay, we don't need any more. Will we find another one? On one hand, I hope I do. On the other, I hope I don't. Because I don't want the dead weight. But... We'll deal with whatever we get. Oh, it looks like we have something red. Brittle cave. Well, this stuff will come in handy. Nope, we have a Mackinac. We have a knife at eighty percent. That's why we don't sharpen our knives. Uh, well, we don't really need to deal with that. We'll leave it here. I'm not sure I can carry much more. What is our weight anyway? 47. We're not barely overweight. Well, let's take this back. I don't think we're going to the moose, but who knows? We might. This Mackinac will be better if it's in that cabin than if it's out here. If for some reason we're desperate for cloth, it's better to have it to at a place that you're gonna most likely go to rather than a place that you don't. You're, I probably wouldn't even remember that it was still out here. Today's word of the day, Jabberwocky. I didn't even need the pronunciation for that one. I've heard that word before. I just, I don't know officially what the meaning is. Yeah, basically that. Playful imitation of language consisting of inverted meaningless words, nonsense, and gibberish. I probably heard Jabberwocky on MASH or something. Colonel Potter had some words every once in a while. Horse hockey. <laughs> What a great show. I loved MASH. There's some things that I look back on my life and say, I'm glad I was around for that. MASH is one of them. I still don't see no wolves. I mean, we don't stink either, so I mean, that's a good reason right there why we're not seeing them, but... Ah... Uh, I would so much rather do this during the daytime, but... We got... Look at our alertness, right? Let's go get the moose. Did I walk right by it? I did. Literally right by it. I saw that cattail head and I'm like, okay, I should look for that cattail. There it is. And now you have the theme song of MASH stuck in your head. Nice, Smurd. I have MASH's theme song on my iPod. I also have All in the Family's theme song. Those are the only two television theme songs I have. All in the Family's theme song is funny. I don't think it would fly these days. <laughs>
Hey, Billy Wilson. Welcome in. Well, knife and all, it's official. My kid now goes to bed with your YouTube vids playing in the background for both the calming aesthetic commentary and some sort of long dark, long dark training. I'm making a difference in the world. Oh man, that's so nice of you. And thank your, thank your child. Is it a boy child or a girl child or a... Yet to be determined child? I don't know how to word that. I appreciate it. Thirteen-year-old boy. Good kid named Shane. Hello, Shane. And thank you so much. Murd likes thirteen. Although it's weird. <laughs> it's weird to, to, to get excited if a boy is thirteen, right? Or a girl or any young child, but the number 13 is Bird's number. And in 16 years, I'll be cheering. Yeah, Shane is the 29. How do you like that math on the fly? There's our moose. I've watched a lot of comedy skits that are a little bit kind of sketchy. <laughs> wow, that moose is really not even close to where I kind of hopefully wanted him. Like he's still basically way out in the open. And it is minus 17 on the wind. Although, what is the temperature? It's only minus 5. Which isn't terrible. Oh, man. Let's drop. You right here. We don't have any scent. I wonder if we got a wind block. What does a wind block give you in terms of temperature buffs? I don't want to make a fire, but I have to make a fire. Come on, little fire. I just worry that it's just going to get blown out. Oh, yeah. That's a good one. All right, that's perfect. Um, you know what's not perfect? Get out of there. Your placement is not perfect. Let's do that. Hey, where did it go? No. Oh, why did you go over here? I thought I lost it. Oh, man. What the hell? I, I'm not imagining things, right? I picked it up. I came over here. I dropped it and it ended up way back over there. I'm not imagining that, am I? Uh, let's throw you. Either way, I don't care. I mean, I'm happy that it's not over there. Let's do that. There we go. That's perfect. <laughs> oh, wait. Was that? Oh, that was the fire. Damn it.
We'll use the bad knife. Yeah, that was... Oh, man. I'm glad that it didn't disappear. I thought I it did. Oh, it's getting dark out here. I'm looking for shelter. I wish I... Oh, hey. That's way cooler right there. I like that. Yeah, I know. They need to fix the hitbox on the animals. It's been bad for so long. Uh, we'll do five again. And you're 11 minutes. Well, we'll see. I don't know if this fire is going to last, but... You know what? I'm going to throw you in there. Oh, yeah. Okay. That's it. We'll be back. <clears throat> we'll be back. Well, we got a little bit of them harvested. That was like a more eventful than I thought it would be. I was really thinking like, wow, did we just seriously lose our, our travel under the ice somehow? And then what am I going to do? I have a whole moose to harvest and now I don't have a sled, but luckily it fixed itself. Well, I guess it didn't fix itself. And we just noticed where it was. <laughs> Let's get inside. Well, cross your fingers for tomorrow being a decent day. Uh, what's our weight? I think we should be able to carry the meat up there. We might move a little bit slow, but I think we should be able to carry it. <laughs> yeah, can you imagine we get an all-day blizzard tomorrow? Come on. Let me up here. You know what? It'll be this way less stress just doing that. I'm not going to be able to carry this load for much longer. Yeah, we can take it. Oh no, the eight ball says it would. Oh, maybe not. We're getting one now. If we get one now, I don't think we'll get one tomorrow. At least not in the morning, unless it's a real long one. Now the question is, what do I do with this moose meat? I think we should leave like 10 kilograms of it at this cabin and take the rest with us, which might be interesting. I think it's pretty easy to do with the sled. I think the sled can go everywhere we need to go. Um, 
and then maybe leave like another 10 at the other cabin. And then I would say guts and hide go back to the the hangar. Yay, we made it. Yeehaw. I you know what in that in that situation, you know what? I should probably have taken the guts and the hide first. Um meat is over here. Well, hey, look at that. I wasn't even counting. I just came up with that number all by my lucky self. I'm going to keep that bad knife. cloth off of this bed. Listen to that sound. Do you hear it? There isn't one. Uh, you know what I think I'm going to do? I think we're just going to leave this stuff here. Oh, of course, I get the back label. Oh, you don't fit. Well, you can go right there. This isn't going to be pretty. It's just we're just throwing it all up there. Um... I do want to make sure I can get the beans up there. Is that the front? No, that's the back. There we go. All right. Uh, I want to, you know what? I'm going to pick up all this because there was a partial one in here, right? Right there, 0.58. We'll do that. And off we go. What is the temperature? It's minus 12. I think we can still get a, uh, a fire that warms us up without coal. We throw enough of that reclaimed wood on. I don't know how much each item of wood gives you in terms of temperature. I know sticks. I believe sticks give you like each stick will give one degree. I should check the book, but like I don't under I, I don't know uh, the values of like reclaimed wood or cedar or fur. Hell, I don't even know the value of coal. I just know that coal will heat it up a bunch. I don't know how much specifically. That would be good information to know. There's probably like hundreds or thousands of people that know that. I am not one of them. <laughs> Uh, 
We gotta go to that fishing hut at some point. Oh, there's the moose. Right as I pick up my coffee, the moose is like, yo, I'm over to your left here. How bad is the wind? Minus 16. This is another fire that can blow out real easy, like. So let me ask, do we have any reason to go back to that cabin from here? I wish I knew. Look at that fire. It's like, whoops, hey, that's not crouch. <laughs> I wish I knew which way the wind was blowing. Let's snuggle up to you in here. Well, I guess there's only one way to find out. I think from here we just come on, keep fire. Come on. walking. That's what I think. Uh, let's deal with the reclaimed wood first. Uh, I don't even care how warm it is as long as it's warm. There we go. We're warm. All right, and we're gonna aim ourselves this way Hey, it went where I thought it should go <laughs> I have a hitbox. How did I find it yesterday? Where was it? There it is Do five. Actually, no, don't do five. What am I doing? I gotta cook. What am I thinking? All my meat's at that cabin, so. Including my venison, that, that point five of venison. I just don't wanna, I don't feel like I, need desperately to walk all the way back there just to grab one or two things and then come back there's the logical spot <laughs> hitbox in the sky <laughs> whatever i don't care as long as i can find the hitbox i don't really care at this point where it is i'm not sure i'm caring much more as long as I can stand in my spot and get the hitbox and stay warm. Oh, damn it. I left the Mackinac on myself. Oh, I do have to go back because all that clothing item. All those clothing items is there. Um, the point nine, I think on the moose, I might leave it. leave that point nine just um i'm gonna probably leave the sled here and run back and get that stuff hey the moose is at 29 percent Yeah, there's no point taking this. I can grab whatever I need and then we can come back here. Uh, we can probably go to that other fishing hut. It's not that one, is it? No, there is a different one. All right, what do we got? 30 minutes. I never did look at that on the previous ones. Whatever. Eight. We'll take all eight. This pack is getting kind of heavy. Oh, 
We still have a burning fire, which is good. Alright, so now we got 55 minutes. I'm going to do that. I want half the guts. I was a little worried when it said moose carcass and it didn't give us a percentage. That makes me think that it's close to being no good. There we go. Did I forget to put the meat on there? <laughs> Damn it! I did, I did. Oops. 42 minutes. you in there I'll probably oh do I I don't know what I'm gonna do with those flares oh let's throw you in there okay I'm gonna see that's 51 minutes let's see if we can make it there but I, I, I don't know I also don't know how long it'll take for that to burn I know, harvesting with scent, typical knife. Oh, I know, I took those two pieces of meat specifically to put on the fire while I was harvesting. I mean, whilst I was harvesting the rest of the guts. but the last time I came down here and I said we got to visit that that fishing hut I thought it was over here and I was trying to think like I, I was pretty sure there was only two fishing huts out here but now it's like it's way over there is it just me quench your thirst when you get your stuff next time don't forget your stuff yeah I don't know if that mo if that meat is gonna burn or not but it's moose we have a lot of it so if it ends up being burnt whatever and we're already at cooking five, so it's not like it's gonna... It's not like it's gonna... Be a waste of meat that could have went towards our cooking skill. Alright, we need... All of y'all. The Mackinac I don't need. And... Uh, these potatoes are hard to see. I don't know if that's... Uh, you know what? That's a f that's fine. I wasn't sure if I should take those with me or not, but you know what? It'll be okay. All right, we're leaving the pot. Um, I'm leaving that. I don't care. And... We have our 10 pieces over there. Actually, 
I have a better idea. Let's do that. Let's take the raw stuff. Let's do that. Oh, I said she could have a drink. Do I need a can? Oh, I do have a can. Look at that. I don't need it, but I guess uh, now that I have it, I may as well leave it at the next cabin. Right? Because the alternative is if I left it here, I would take that other pot. And leave that at the other cabin. So I'll just leave this, this can at the other cabin. Um, sometimes you never know what scenario. I mean, you, you all have seen me leave my pots behind. You've seen me leave a bedroll behind. So... might be a good timer just saying I'll even I'll even get into this the position here we go come on merge a little early but sure there we go Thanks, man. It was totally unexpected. <laughs> Sorry, I needed I needed desperately to yawn. So I figured instead of struggling to hang on. Oh, I think it's charred. Oh, it's not. Look at you. Um, XM, give me two seconds. Let's take that one. Um, I think we should be able to eat the entire piece. That's perfect. 32, 45, that's good. Where did I... Where did I leave the other bow? Oh, thank you, thank you. Oh my. Hey, OG. Welcome in, bud. How you doing? All right. Here you go, XM. There you go. I don't feel that that was a very good one. I'm sorry about that. What is that? Oh, okay. I was gonna say it looked like blood splatter, but like, why? There's auto walk for you. <laughs> well, you lose a little bit of weight and all of a sudden you're walking, but you're basically running compared to what you normally are moving at. All right, nothing in here. Man, I thought I left my other bow there and I didn't really want to walk back and go get it. I did not. That is not the fifth time I asked what is that. Look at it. Well, no, it doesn't look like it from here, but from the other side, it totally looked like a blood splatter. 
It did, it did, it did. Oh, geez, gonna lurk for a bit. Still in bed. No worries. Aside from the coldness, I mean, it's, you know, time of day, I think is okay to get to this cabin. For me is you know me I always lose my way will I be able to uh, actually find my way to the the other cabin and the other question is should I stop and warm up first the wind is minus minus 16 So we're going to need something with a wind block. Oh, come on. It's not that steep. Okay. It was just that spot. Who? Thank you. go behind these rocks and make a fire there's the problem of the of the sled is you can't really look to the sides I do wish you had better visibility That's okay. I think right here. Let's make a fire. Uh, let's put you away. Do that. Um, I think I might throw a chunk of coal on here. Come on, little fire. Rather than throw in all of my wood. Now, I know I threw the books and the reclaimed wood. I didn't. Okay, good. There we go. And... Well, I guess let's do it this way. What can we do? 96. I don't want to touch my socks at 96. Uh, not really anything we can do. Unless we have something that we can do here. No. Well... We can do that. And, oh, actually, you know what? I think the can works just as well. Uh, we don't need anything here. Let's do. Yeah, let's do this. There we go. And yeah, let's just go. Uh. 
I do need to have a good look. I think we're not high enough yet. I think if we go straight, we might run into the road. You can sense my confidence in that, right? Wonder if I should be picking mushrooms. no longer bull no longer bull <laughs> no longer sledable oh no let me down please oh boo uh, too much to carry Oh no, it is really is too much to carry. What is our weight at? 81. Oh, that sucks. Oh, the hello. <laughs> there, there, there be a bear. There he be. Uh, I gotta get to a spot where I know, oh man, he's coming this way. This better be okay. Uh, where are you? There we go. He should have turned around. Yeah, we can throw you in there. Uh, yeah. Yeah. The problem is he's going to turn right back around when I pick up this, this raw meat. I'm going to put that away so we don't have any shenanigans when we're trying to pick it up. I wonder if I can drop any of this gear. Oh boy. Oh boy. Yeah, he's coming this way again. And then those wolves are like, hey, let's go over there. question I would like to get that bear too do I do I go to the helicopter oh no it's not enough time I was thinking about going to the helicopter and only taking like 10 pieces of the raw meat and then coming back to this cabin. Okay, I do believe this is the correct way to get to the cabin. Um, I want to stay on the snow. Yeah, my thinking was that why 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 carry all this weight in the sled all the way up there if I could just leave the majority of the meat at the helicopter and just f walk you know I do hope this is the correct way. 
It's moving upward, so it has to be. We can take a bit of a shortcut. I am going the correct way? Nice. I thought so, just because it is going up and that other cabin is higher up. There we go. We got a little bit of a shortcut out of that. Um, we might spend some time at the helicopter tomorrow. Just holding a bunch of raw meat. And bringing in the uh, any of the wolves in the area and that bear. I think that's tomorrow's plan. And hopefully tomorrow is like today, like similar in that, you know, we have visibility. Because it'll be pretty interesting to get back to the hangar with a sled full of meat if we can't see where we're going. It's it's tough enough to do when you're just walking, but when you throw in the sled as well, and now you can't actually look very well to the sides to, to hopefully get a glimpse of something that you might recognize. Uh, I just, I dread pulling the sled in the, in the fog. There she be. This is the cabin you found your mucklucks at. Not that you're wearing them anymore. Day 300 on your run, which means you made deerskin boots. Day 500 will be deerskin pants. Nice. This, this one's a little skinny. This cabin. I wish it was a little bit wider. It just visually doesn't quite look proper. Even though it probably is. Alright, we will have to empty the sled. Put you away. Do we have anything over here? No. Um. I'm not sure I can carry much more. You know what? Raw meat. I'm going to see what we have for cooked meat. How much cooked meat do we have? Nine. All right, well, cooked meat. I guess we'll just... Throw it down right there. And... We got six. I don't know that... Jesus, this is cold. I don't know that we're going to get six cooked. Maybe if we cook outdoors. All right, what do you have for us? A toque. It's a hat. It's not a hat, it's a toque. All right, we got broth. Sardines. We got another pot. Look at that. All right, well, I'll leave you there. We got flour. We got a certain amount of water. I didn't even look at the number. 0.8. Oh, we have a skillet. Oh, do we have flour? I can barely 
Oh, I mean, oh hell. <laughs> Oh, please be oil here. All right, I'm not seeing any. Was I wrong? Oh no, I was wrong. That other cabin, I broke down that piece of cloth. I think I broke down the wrong piece of cloth. Oh no. So there's still a little spot at that other cabin that we haven't looked at. Oops. That matches. I think I can use this. All right. Oops. Loose boards. Oh, wait, it's this one. Thanks, Murd. Leave this. We don't need that. Oh, man. I was really hoping. Why can't we have oil? That's all we need, basically, right? Venison pile. Water. We have the flour. We need a little bit of oil. We have that. Oh, man. Maybe if I look again. <laughs> I don't think so. Well, we got to cook some meat. Um, you know what? What the hell? You're 100% with a book. I'm going to get this fire going and then get, throw a chunk of meat on Come this. On, and I'm going to take a... A wee little break. Uh, let's throw you. Got you at 46 minutes. Uh, what's a good place to look? Let's look that way. I'm not even going to put the be right back screen on. I'm just going to leave it like this. So I'll be right back. All right, I'm back. Ooh, look at that. We have four minutes till ready. Got some nasty weather out there. Uh, let's do that. Take this one as well. I thought I left you right on the corner. I did not, though. What do we have? Yeah, we're at 28. we just do that oh no Man, I could eat anything. you fool <laughs> you fool uh. hey Darth welcome in it's a nice cozy cabin you found yes it is it is Oh no, that was 18 minutes away from being done, and now it's like... Right from scratch. Uh. 
Why me? Why anyone? There you go. Darth, that command is for you. Twenty eight minutes. I don't want to tear this thing down, but it's twenty seven minutes. Let's do it. And we can leave y'all right there. Well, the hitboxes are a little wonky in here. 46. I think that's the last piece of meat that's going to happen. Uh, we need to eat. And drink. Uh, yeah, I don't think 41, 48, that's going to be completely fine. I'm going to take that with us. And you know what? We're just going to sleep right here in front of the fire. Or we're not going to. <laughs> what is blocking? I get it over there, but why? Okay, I guess we're going upstairs. That's kind of foolish. Uh, let's top up our water. And hopefully we wake up, it's daytime. If, I mean, if it's not, we'll just cook some more meat. And we have a bad, bad weather situation. You're cooked. This hitbox is wonky too. Or four. Alright. Getting a bit thirsty. Let's eat this. And we'll drink. And we'll go grab the cloth from upstairs. So we don't need it. Oh, you fool, you fool, you fool. Drop those. Drop you. chair 13 minutes wow yeah that's 46 where are you 37 30 we need more wood so I don't like using coal indoors on we had two <laughs> now I don't have one <laughs> well it's a Vista location so I assume that means we have both of them yep 
We have that one. And that one. So we have to make sure we get a piece of charcoal before we leave here. I want this. It's like a poker stick. It looks like my poker stick for my fire pit. Outside. How long are you? An hour 36. Not gonna happen. You're not. Oh, let's look at the pictures for coach. Oh, what's this one? Look at that. There you go, coach. I don't know what that one actually is. I really don't. Oh, we have cloth up here. I guess we gotta hit it from downstairs, right? 25 minutes. 15. the lowest we're wearing no we don't have anything we can repair we don't need to repair this i'm not i don't think i'm ever actually going to use it so we got 34 minutes to do what what can we do i don't i'm i'm just gonna take that piece of scrap metal with us i don't know why midday and we still haven't left 
Is there anything outside? Oh, before I forget. Grab that. I do not need eight. Uh, actually, let's just chuck them on the ground. You know, I'll leave. I'll do that. Um, I gotta remember. We gotta leave a pot here. Actually, let's leave that one. I didn't even look at what the uh, condition of the pot we left at the other place was. Well, we got nothing but time. So, there goes that. We have really nothing else we can break down. Um, I don't want to sleep. I don't really care to be ripping apart cardboard boxes. Just don't feel like it. But whatever. 27 minutes. That's a pretty small box for 27 minutes. Here comes the famous air airfield blizzard that just goes on and on. Maybe. This, this blizzard basically started last night, right? Do we have anything else up above that we can't see? I have too many pieces of cloth as is. So... Wow, well, we're gonna be here all night. But look at our alertness. leaving any of this meat here. I'm going to take it. 9%. Imagine what it would have been at had I put it down. <laughs> All right. This is this is my 10 pieces that I'm leaving. Keep the wood. I'm not going to be able to carry this load for much longer. Uh, let's go right there. Let's do that. Oh, before I leave, dude, before we leave, we got to go, uh, so you say this one, is that the one you're talking about? Or is it this one you're talking about? I don't know. The hitbox might be wonky. I think it is wonky. <laughs> All right, here we go. Should be good. That's a Vista. Oh, the shelf, this one. Oh, I don't want to break down the shelf. No, I thought 
you meant that, the rack. I guess that you would have said rack, right? Wow, we're that cold already. Let's go. Um, I would spend the night here if we had more wood. Yeah. But we don't. I want to make sure I don't have scent. Okay, good, good, good. We're, I think what we're going to do is head straight to uh, the hangar. And then we'll come back to the helicopter. Yep. Yeah. This is a case of Nifo's gotta go, go, go. Um, I don't have any wood to do any cooking there. So we'll just be twiddling our thumbs till it's time to go to bed, passing time, and doing a whole lot of nothing. I'd rather just leave now while I do still have some cooked meat on me. And, uh, I believe there is some wood at the hangar, I believe. Alright, now normally when I don't have a sled, I just jump down. Like, I, I would go that way. I'm kind of going to have to follow the path. But yeah, we'll get to, uh, we'll get to the hangar. That way we can drop off all this stuff that we don't need to have on us. Um, we'll grab some raw meat. And... S we'll see. Maybe... I don't know. But I definitely want to go back to the helicopter. I wouldn't even mind spending a night at the helicopter. If I'm being totally honest. But I would like to attract the bear and uh, maybe all them wolves. They'll just stand out there with a the fire going and inside the helicopter. We'll stand on top of it or, or in front of it until they, they come in. Just holding our raw meat. And yeah, it'll be fun. Now. Exactly, and then boink on the head with an arrow. That's the way it goes. I've never felt so cold in my life. I think if we go a little bit further, we can... There's the wolves. I don't know that I want to attract them right now, though. But, I mean, what does? what's the difference, right? I'd rather be playing with wolves when we have more time. Like, it's almost nighttime. I just kind of want to get to getting... Oh, bud. Hey. Why is he right there? Why? That's exactly where I need to go. He's gonna take an hour and a half to, to get out of the way. Or just not get out of the way at all. Now we're left with Trying to find a spot. Oh, come on. This has got to be there. Uh, there we go. Well, I wanted him over by the helicopter. Where 
Where is he? Where is he coming? <laughs> I hope that I hope that sound meant he's fleeing. Yes, he's fleeing. Oh, I hit him with a barrow. Let's go. I <laughs> went close. I won't lie, when he came, when when I first saw him coming up over the little hill there, I thought, uh-oh. How many barrier am I at now? I don't know. Some. <laughs> I'll look when we're in a little bit safer position. Just want to get away from him. came over the hill I, I honestly I thought okay this is where everyone's gonna call you an idiot because you're gonna take a shot he's you're not gonna have time he's gonna attack you and it's your own fault and you are an idiot but luckily we got a we got a hit and we didn't get hit ourselves We should look at this though. Six. That should be bear seven, I believe. Is it luck or skill? I don't know. There's a very fine line between the two of those. Look at the big, fat, juicy buck. Oh, there's the helicopter. <laughs> Let's get to the heli. I want to see. All right. I think we're going to have a fun time finding that guy. Yeah. When he does go down. That was definitely not my plan. And rethinking what just happened. Maybe before he saw us, maybe I should have made a fire and just let him pass. As we were warming up. And then carried on with what the actual plan was, which was to, to bring him over to the helicopter. It's gonna be nighttime. Um, I don't want to spend this night in the helicopter. Oh, I've already been here. Okay. Uh, one thing I wanted to see. We can get a fire there. I was wondering about the fires in the helicopter. Like, can you put them? Like, can you get two of them in here? Come on, little fire. But, uh, okay. Actually, let's see the temperature. It's zero. I only have one. Whatever. We'll do that. Oh, and it's an aurora. <laughs> no. God damn, freezing. Of course it's an Aurora. Oh. 
Uh, how much condition? Let's drink you. Yeah. So when we came here last time, I did, we didn't even make a fire or nothing. Look at that. There we go. Am I still way warm? No, I'm not actually. Let's go over here. Uh, let's eat the sardines. Thirty three minutes. Actually. Get a couple of these on the go. We have lots of herbal tea. I still have a hypothermia risk. Um, I'm going to make one more. And drink it. the sled can make it through this little area oh wait a second get rid of that let's go we got clear weather um Just don't get stymied by any little part of the terrain. Look at the pretty lights. There's lights everywhere. Yeah, there is. There shouldn't be a green bear. Still on bear six. Even if there was, I mean, there won't be one in the direction we're going. Uh, the one thing, though, that we gotta... Alright. Where does the road go? The road's over there, isn't it? The path? The trail? The path? The sidewalk? Whatever the hell you want to call it. That's where I want to get to. Because doesn't that lead us right to the, uh, the airfield? There we go. This will get us around that, uh, that little waterway. I hope. Although it's not, it goes the long way. Is it longer than this way? Stymie, wasn't that in the little, wasn't he in the little rascals? I think he was. I think that was one of the little rascals. This is a whole different situation when it's like a blizzard because we have the airfield is all lit up. We shouldn't have any issues finding it. Um, 
Now, shouldn't the radio give us a sound when we're close to a cache, even though we're not holding it? I just want to make sure I'm not going to go through the dip. Yes, technically the radio should. There's some debate on whether or not that, that that is actually working the way it's supposed to right now. Because I do remember uh, with the signal void bunkers not getting a sound when we were close. Uh, I just know that there's that one cache possibly out here. Uh, I don't remember, however, if it was very good. If it was worth any risk or not. But I think the time of day, or I guess the time of night, uh, paired up with our alertness. Uh, by the time we go to bed, we might wake up in the daytime. Like in the morning. love to hear the sound though like we're out here already we're we're in the vicinity of it i don't know technically right now that we're very close to it but we will pass pretty close to it um, even if it's just flares it's better to get it than it is to not get it and i still don't remember if i've been to that shack but i'm not doing it right now Let's go get it. We're close. There it is. Hey. What? Oh. <laughs> I thought it disappeared. Oh yeah, that's all crap we don't want. Where's our footprints? Let's put you away because you're just blinding me. That's our sled right there anyways. Well, there was a whole lot of nothing in there, but whatever. We got one. The moon looks like someone drew it with a crayon. Where is the moon? Dang it. <laughs> the moon looks awesome. Wow, I am having so many issues today with finding the sled. What is wrong? For getting the cash near one of the helicopters. Yeah, I, rem I remember the one that's further out from, like, out by the bear cave. I remember that one was good. I don't remember what was in it. I think an MRE or something, but... I, I had a feeling that this was the one that I got the one time, and I was pretty disappointed with the... the stuff that's in it. Well, we got the cash anyways. It allowed us to run and burn off a little bit of alertness. So 
so it's all good. Yeah, the flare shot out of that one was basically the only thing of any value. Uh, I very, 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 very rarely ever use these flashlights. If I do, I use it in the bunker. Um, although, I guess, you know what? It'll come in handy here. I won't have to burn any lantern oil while we're going down into the basement. So it's good for that, I guess. But yeah, the flare shot is basically the only thing of real value. You only like the flashlight variant, it lights up better. I, I had to have used it once, right? I must have. Moldy bear. Let's stand right here. I can barely walk with this much gear. And we'll get rid of the moose here. I'm going to take that one in. Just in case. Blink. Oh yeah, can yours do this? Blink! <laughs> Alright, we can drop one of our bows. That one. Uh, yeah, I guess we're... Oh, I guess first of all we're gonna drop these. There we go. We have a bear. We have a moose. Uh, what was in here again? All the arrow stuff. That's what was in here. Um, we're going to break that arrow down. You know what? Here, hold on. Put you away. I'm not sure I can carry much more. Let's do that. How many? Uh, seven. I think we had a red flat, uh, red toolbox right there, right? Let's go. We got a lot of alertness still, so we may as well make some more arrows. We got 26. Oh, guess what? <laughs> I love it when I don't even plan it. It just happens. Watch this. This is going to be cool. And you can go down on the floor. Watch this. 29! <laughs> there we go. I am happy! There, I'm glad I left that... Heavy hammer at the other place. Alright, let's uh, eat up and drink. And I have three. I don't think I need to, but I'm going to drink one. Just because. And we will go to bed. So for those of you on YouTube, I thank you for watching. If you like what you saw, please like and subscribe and I will see you all tomorrow.